name's James Allen, I'm 22, and I'm a boutique sneaker salesman. And uh, this is my current car collection. So, this is actually one of the first nicer cars I bought. Uh, it's a Polo 1.6 match. Uh, it's not the R version, actually. I didn't have the money to start with, but I've, I've blacked out the badges, put on my personal plates, and done up the cut of on that one. Uh, it was one of the first nice cars I actually drove, and one of the first cars I learned in. So, it's a really solid car for anyone uh, anyone looking to, uh, to have a nice car style, really. And I'm really happy with that. What was the reason you chose this car? Uh, the reason I chose this one was just because I, I really like the look of the Polos. Uh, and this was just the newest model when it came out. It's a well, it's 2013 was it's a two play, but I don't know that. And yeah, I mean, it's a really solid all-rounder all -rounder car. You can really get, get quite nippy. It's like driving a go-kart compared to the other ones, to be honest. So, uh, I'm really happy with it, yeah. Uh, describe your car in three words. Uh, in three words, it's easy, smooth, and pretty sleek, actually. And do you have any regrets about buying this year as your first car? No, no, absolutely not. It's a beautiful car to learn, it's a beautiful car still today, just to you know, rock around to the shops in and uh, everything like that. So that was the first car. When I, you know, first hit it, hit it big as it were, uh, this was my first splash purchase. It's a Model S uh, Tesla 85D. And it's absolutely beautiful car. So, tell us about the car you drive. Uh, so this is a Tesla Model S 85D, it's an all-electric sports car, uh, and it's sort of been my dream car for the past few, uh, past few years. And yeah, it's an absolute beauty, it goes like a bat out of hell because you've got instant torque, you know, delivery to the, uh, to the wheels, uh, and yeah, it's just, it's, you know, <laughs> not having to worry about petrol or anything like that, and just throwing it on charge is a, a real benefit. And was there a reason you chose this car? Um, so basically, I just wanted, you know, something that I could uh, it was both sporty, but also just, you know, it was a bit understated. It was, you know, a really clean-looking car, uh, whilst you know, under the bonnet being a being really, really rapid, sixth fastest accelerating car on the market. Uh, so I'm, re I mean, I'm really happy with it. Yeah, and uh, it, it, you know, it was. The reason I got it was just because it was a, a sort of a dream car from a te technological standpoint for me. And describe your car in three words. Uh, rapid, elegant and understated. And do you have any regrets about buying this car? No, not at all. Absolutely, it's probably one of the best purchases I've ever made was this car. I'm really, you know, it, 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 it under promised and way over delivered. Moving on, this is my Ford toy. Uh, this is a 2001 uh, Land Rover Defender TD90. It's TD5 actually. It's just, it was uh, 15 years old. It's only got about 30k on the clock. It was on some Irish estate in amazing nick and the paintwork on it is just beautiful. I love that green. But this, throwing it around the field, does such a stellar job. It, it really does. Uh, so when I moved here, we've got a bit of land, got about 35 acres on this, and getting around anywhere. I, got, I started off with a little Honda Thor Trax uh, quad bike, but uh, if you want to get serious, and, uh, especially through uh, just across the fields on the hills, you've got to, you've got to get something like this. It's, it, there's no competition for me. This is the Describe this car in three words. Uh, it's an absolute beast. It is it's got real character and it, and it's a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun. Do you regret buying this car? No, no, no. no. They've stopped making the TD90 now, unfortunately. So I, I kind of wish uh, at some point I got uh, a more modern one because this one is starting to show its age despite not being used much. Uh, like you've still got, instead of air conditioning, you just open the flaps at the front, which is actually uh, one of those fun things. What do you think all your cars say about you? Uh, hopefully they say that you know I've got a real varied uh, taste and uh, I'm sort of trying to cover all bases, you know, sort of the Jack and Trent, Master of None kind of thing. And uh, I mean, I don't take 
all of them out all the time, but you know, I try to get the most used out of them as possible instead of just you know keeping them hauled up in a in a garage like a well with the trains I sell. <laughs> Most of the time, they're literally just kept in the box in in wraps. So hopefully, I take these ones out and actually give them a good life, rather than uh, rather than just keep them stored away.